Well, bring your furry friends for pictures with Santa, a treat station, and even an ugly sweater dog contest. And Melinda Kopp is here to tell us all about doggone Christmas. Melinda, as Hello. always, so good to see you. You too. Well, I can now say Merry Christmas. I couldn't yes, say it before. Yes, absolutely. Uh, before things can, we now We were shunned a little bit before, but yeah. now it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys have been planning a lot for this doggone Christmas. Tell me all about it. We have. Well, you know, Jonesboro is so dog friendly. You can't look outside in downtown and long main street without seeing someone walking their dog um so or, a, or, a, or a store owner having absolutely dog. Yes. absolutely we have so many pet friendly stores as well mm -hmm. so about three years ago we decided you know we need to do something to celebrate the dogs too mm -hmm. because there's so many people that those are their babies mm -hmm. or people their their children have grown up and they have their fur babies right and we thought this would be a fun way for them to bring their their pets downtown have their pictures made with santa have um, some treats stations throughout town, mm -hmm. do some fun contests, and just have a dog on good time. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. And so there's going to be a lot of activities there for is. not only dogs, but the family, kids, everything like that. Absolutely. So let's kind of go through it. So for the dogs, there's going to be pictures with Santa that you said yes. a professional photographer will actually be doing them. Yes, from 11 to 1, we'll have a professional photographer downtown taking pictures. And for a minimal fee, you can get a digital copy of the picture sent to you. And all the proceeds will actually go to help fund the Jonesboro Dog park which we're in the process of getting going and we'll also be going some of the uh, contributions will be going to the Washington County Humane Society last year we raised over seven hundred dollars for wow. the Humane Society for wow. the photography and you get a digital picture of your fur babies and yes Santa, right? absolutely That's wonderful. yes and then of course you guys are gonna have a uh, several contests going on yes, as well <laughs> we are um, in the so in the beginning we're gonna be having the pictures with Santa mm -hmm. we'll also be having a treat station we have sticky paws bakery that will be doing custom pet treats oh. and you can actually ice your own dog treat oh, cookie um, to decorate them a little Christmas treat all pet friendly ingredients and then um, 11 o'clock we'll also be doing the dog gingerbread house making um, and that will be at the storytelling center it is free but you do have to register online to get a spot in that and we are still taking registration it's jonesbreadtn.org um, and then at one o'clock we'll be doing some pet costume contests so we've got the ugliest Christmas dog right. sweater <laughs> which I love that <laughs> yes the best holiday pet costume okay and the pet owner look alike and you were just telling me that you guys see a lot of animals that come down not we just do. dogs right we do you know we do a lot of uh, costume contests during Halloween too right. we have a pet costume category and we've seen um, dogs of course we see a lot of we see some cats yeah we've had a pig <laughs> we've had a llama and I think we had a baby goat once <laughs> oh my gosh so do you think they're gonna make a return visit possibly for dog on yeah. Christmas have a yeah they'll have dog on good time too yeah, they will exactly it sounds like a lot of fun and either way people can find out more information online yes and of course to sign up for that gingerbread house making yes, as well absolutely um, you can go to jbochristmas.com to find information about all of our holiday events with our Christmas and Old Jonesboro series and of course it continues every Saturday through December 15th right so. I was gonna say this is your busy I mean I feel like all the <laughs> time you guys are busy but during the holidays this is extremely it is. busy for it is guys. and we also have a Christmas market I about forgot to mention, we also have a Christmas market in front of the Storytelling Center where we have about 10 vendors, local handmade vendors, and of course we have a lot of pet vendors this time. We okay. have um, anything from pet treats to pet clothing to handmade dog bowls to a little bit of everything. So it's perfect. You can get into the holiday spirit with your furry friends and Absolutely. of course the rest of your family as well. It's such a great time to get everyone involved this it time is, of year. It is. It is. And well, a lot well. of great shopping and things to do downtown. Exactly. And of course some great presents for your dogs as well. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks again, Melinda. We Thank always you. appreciate it. For more information about Doggone Christmas, it's all happening Saturday, December 1st. You can go to jonesborotn.org because it's all kicking off at 11 a.m. in downtown Jonesboro.